do a speech about the American economy compared to really gay Japanese anime, and ending with, you are not explaining what that means in English. I still remember the taste of Pop Rocks in my mouth in the airport, waiting to go home. I still remember the first time I said I love you to someone that wasn't family, and I meant it. I remember birthdays and late nights, minds blooming full of poetry and ticket stubs. My left wall is just that, evidence of remembrance and the effort to not forget. Then, why is my brain still looping on you, 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 this unattainable other half, built from the scraps in my mind, composed of friendly faces and unspoken curiosities? I've started to remember the first few insight jokes we had with one another, down to the blink of an eye, but suddenly, it's like these blanks in my mind are growing longer. What's my best friend's favorite color? What did the sky look like yesterday? When was the last time I logged off of Twitter? It's hard to remember that the world outside is much bigger than our two beating hearts, and it's even worse forgetting that the one thing I need to keep this world turning is to keep my heart beating. When these lungs breathe air, they breathe air for me. When I dream about being held together by two strong arms, I fail to realize that all I need to be held up is two strong legs. This body cares for no one except for the one who feeds it. And these gaps in my memory are nothing but openings to lay stronger foundations. And this heart, and this mind, and this soul, all too young to really know the meaning of romantic love, waiting patiently for it. Know that the imprints left on us from honest love and larger worlds are much more worth remembering than the possibility of what we could have been. And yet, here I am, forgetting to take the chicken out of the freezer because I'm waiting for your reply. Overthinking that one time we saw each other in the hallway and kind of smiled, but I was late for a French retake and you were with someone else, so instead I find myself daydreaming about what you'd do if you were suddenly bombarded by a mob of angry French people. Memorizing this awful script of, hey, I know it's 3 a.m. and we're both asleep under this really cute IKEA comforter we bought together, but I just wanted to warn you that maybe someday I might want to become a vegetarian. Now, of course, this isn't a complete removal of the historic tale that is Bauna Fofia Reyes Valencia and the unexpected arrival of romantic feelings for insert names here. It's like a post-it note on the refrigerator that is our maybe relationship. I am here. I am waiting for you, but do not expect to find me standing around while doing it. Thank you very much. <laughs>